Hi, this is Mr. Beard, and I'm going to make a very fast tutorial on Quizlet. First thing you're going to need to do for Quizlet is probably sign up, which you can find right there. You'll notice you can use Google or Facebook to sign up if you have an account for either one of those, or you can sign up right on the website. I would not sign up through Facebook because it's blocked at the school. So if you have a Google account, great. If not, this is just fine to enter your user information right here. Once you've signed up and logged in, you'll be taken to a page that looks somewhat like this, although yours will probably be blanked because you haven't created any sets before. These are all the sets that I've created. So you, the first thing you're going to want to do once here is create a set, which you can find right there. When you hit create a set, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. If you're a teacher, obviously you're going to want to title it whatever you're wanting students to learn for that set. For example, let's say it's vocabulary for the week and it's your list of three, so you might type it, uh, title it vocabulary list three. If you're a student, you've got a couple different options. You could create sets for each class that you have, or you could put all of your classes in one set. Let's say you need to study geometry, history, and English for the week. So you could put them all uh, in, in one set and title it week 33 or whatever week you're in. And then you have all of your terms in one set and be able to just study them for the week. However you want to do it, I'm just going to walk you through what that process looks like very quickly. Uh, it's called the sample set. And then you put terms in on the left and definitions on the right. Because you can use this site for foreign language <coughs> excuse me, classes, you have to choose what language you want. For our purposes, we're going to use English. So, uh, some English teacher, let's say we use the word protagonist. And antagonist. And climax. And let's say those are, you know, obviously we have a lot more than that, but let's say those are the only three words we need to use. So we go ahead and click create a set. And we come to this page. From here, we've got several different options for how to interact with these words, for how to learn these words. The most common will be flashcards, but you can also try spelling. You can give yourself a test. I want to show you this because this is cool. Uh, this is what a sample test looks like. I mean, this is just generated, not having to do anything, so kind of a cool way to study the words, see how much you know. Or you can play games like Scatter or Space Race. For our purposes, I'm going to show you flashcards because that's by far the most common use that students have. So. You can see we've got the term on one side, and if I click this, it'll give me the definition on the other side, and I can go through my words. What's cool, if you're doing vocabulary and students don't know the word and, and sometimes they don't know how to say it, you can turn on audio. Antagonist. And it'll read it to you, both the term Character and the who opposes the main character. And it'll go through and do that for each word. Protagonist. Uh, can get kind of annoying if you know all the words, so we can go ahead and turn that off. You can put the definition on the first page if you want to uh, mix things up a little bit or you can have it on both sides for whatever reason and let's say you go through the set and you think you know them you can hit shuffle and it'll shuffle them all up for you so those are the basics of the flashcards on the browser I want to show you the app real fast there's a little bit of glare on my phone here but I think you can see this so the app is called Quizlet so let's go ahead and click that and it'll show you all of the uh, lists you have created. So let's go ahead and click on the one we just created. And we want to study the flashcards or cards. And you can study the flashcards right on your phone. You can have it read them to you if you need to. Protagonist. Um, and you can go through and study them just like you did on the browser. Kind of cool. What's even more cool is you can create your own flashcards right from the phone. So let's say your teacher allows you to use your phone in class. You can go ahead and pull that out and use uh, this to create your own flashcards that you can study right on your phone or on the browser, uh, just like we did on Quizlet's website. So that's it for Quizlet. Pretty basic. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks.